How are you? Congratulations, I'm well, how are you? I'm doing all right, doing all right. So from first question, where do you think Tarzan stands in the rank of literary great heroes? Um, well, when I was a kid, I loved him because I always thought of him as like the original superhero. Um, I was a big fan of superheroes in general, but there was something about the fact that he was just this boy raised by apes and he didn't have, he didn't come from outer space, he didn't have like, there was no mutation or no cape, no like gadgets, gimmicks. I always thought that was pretty badass. So um, uh, the fact that all he had was his like brain and his fists and, and, and in order to survive in the jungle, he kind of had to tap into something uh, deeper and, and something no other human had ever tapped into. And that, that kind of became his superpower. I thought that was pretty cool. This version of Tarzan starts in a different point from where we normally see the film start. So did that help you get into the character at all? Well, it helped me. I was excited when I first heard about it because I've been a fan of Tarzan since I was a little boy. Um, but I was also very curious to see because it's a story that's been told so many times over the, the past century. And I thought it was so refreshing to read it and surprising when you have a character that's so iconic in a way and you're still surprised when you meet him in the script. It's like him drinking tea with a prime minister. I thought it was so smart and so interesting to start there and with this buttoned up British Lord. And then he returns to the jungle and slowly goes from Lord Greystoke to uh, Tarzan the Ape Man. I thought that was very fun to kind of go in that direction instead. Do you ever feel slightly aggrieved that you're in this age of Hollywood now where instead of going out to the jungle to film this epic movie, you go to a studio in Leaveson? Or maybe you're glad you didn't have to go out to um, I mean, it was it, it, a movie like this would have been close to impossible to shoot in the jungle because um, it's so massive and um, you kind of need to control the environment in a way uh, when you have a crew of 400 and, and big, big action set pieces and stuff like that. So um, it's uh, I'm actually I get to go to the Amazon in two weeks and I'm really excited about that. So it's, um, it's I guess my answer would be it's great if you can do both. Get out there and actually feel it and be in the environment. But the way they did it was quite remarkable because it's not all green screen. They actually brought the jungle to Leafston, Watford, uh, um, where they planted grass a year before, uh, African grass created a savanna a year before we shot the movie and brought in African trees and bushes. And so they, they created on two sound stages, a massive jungle sets. So it, it felt like you were actually in the jungle. Yeah, absolutely. What, final question, what do you want audiences to expect when they sit down there and watch the movie? Well, I, um, this is a very special night because not only do I have, I mean, we shot the movie in London, so it is special for, for that reason, but it's also, we have lots of friends here tonight and the whole crew is here. So that's, it's an incredible n night to share it with, with them. And, and obviously I hope fans, it's a big, fun, epic action adventure movie. And I hope they like the love story between Tarzan and Jane. Uh, um, and it's, uh, I like the fact that it's said in the Conga during King Leopold's reign, because uh, um, it gives it some, some gravitas, the fact that it's, it touches on some very important issues, on humanitarian issues, on, on colonialism, and on uh, ivory trade, and, and what we, we're doing to uh, Mother Earth. Mm -hmm. Great, thank you very much. Thank, thank you, guys. Pleasure, Have enjoy. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys!